The reason I accepted this project was because of the community orchestra. I was in a taxi cab with a viola friend of mine, a viola player, and uh, she plays with a lot of different levels of orchestras. And I said, what's it like playing in uh, B-level orchestras, C-level orchestras, community orchestras? What's, what's the difference? And she said, well, the higher up you go, the better the orchestra. They play more in tune, they play more together, and they play harder repertoire. But when you play with community orchestras, there's a certain enthusiasm. Most of them are there because they want to be there. And um, she said, I really love playing with community orchestras because they're not looking at the clock, they're working hard at what they're trying to play, and it's wonderful. And I said, you know what, you just made a decision for me. I'm going to do this piece for these community orchestras. And at the time, it started out, there were 26 orchestras. And then it, there were 30 orchestras, and then there were 36 orchestras, and there were 40 orchestras, and then 48. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 where are we going with this? <laughs> this is like an adventure. I feel like I'm on a campaign trail or something. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not. <laughs> um, the Alaska chamber orchestra called me up right away and they said, we'd love you to come on tour with us. Um, we traveled by biplane, bus, and dog sled. And we sleep in, on gymnasium floors. And I said, oh, this sounds so exciting, especially in that environment, except I'm a little old for that. <laughs> so I, I had to turn them down. But just the idea of being invited to go out into the terrain of Alaskan you know, dog sleds. So I'm sort of envisioning a lot of different experiences like that, which will, I think will be very interesting.